all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and in this video we're going to be talking about the another enhancement in the x arrow so in the previous video we just learned about like how we can use the x arrow and how we can implement it to our upcoming projects or something like if you don't want to depend on another libraries like react flow or any other which provides you the flow kind of functionalities so you can use the x arrow over there and you can create your own custom nodes own edges and then you can connect with each other so those kind of things you can do over here so this is a kind of customization if you don't want to rely on any library and you want to like you don't want to go through with the vulnerabilities and all those issues because if you work into the big company so the vulnerabilities are major issues with the library so you have to keep updating those libraries you don't want to uh, have any problem into your project so those kind of things you can avoid over here and you can write your own custom code and then you can achieve that same kind of functionality so same kind of thing we're going to be seeing over here into this video because in this video we're going to be doing like uh, in the previous video we were not able to drag from one node to and drop it on another node and create a line between both of them but in this video we're going to be doing that we can just drag from one point of the node and then we're going to be dropping at another point of the node and we can connect with each other okay so those kind of functionality we're going to be achieving and also i'm going to be showing you the example like which i previously built and also i have created the video on that if you guys will be following since long time so you would see that in the example and i have created one poc where you can have multiple table kind of structure for the nodes and then there are multiple points in single table and then table to table connection you can do into that one so let's go to the screen and just check it out like uh, how does it work first i'm going to be showing you that example like how i created that one and the code is also in the same repository if you guys want to use it so you can use it otherwise i'm already showing you another example and enhancement so we can even start one as well okay so let's get to the screen and let's check it out okay so this is my screen right now so the previous video we just saw this one like we can just drag any node from here and drop it and uh, like predefined connections we have to store over there and then we can create the connections like this okay so this was our code in the previous video if you have say if you have cloned this and if you are using this one but we're going to do some changes over here and then we're going to be able but before doing that one i just want to show you guys like what was my uh previous poc like i created one project and i, I just want to show you guys so let's uh see that one first okay so so simple template or js okay if i just run this one okay and let's reload this page see what we get okay so you see this one there are multiple tables over here and you can also track these tables as well from here uh why it's not working let's check this out in this pack and there should be some error so it shows let me move myself first from here okay so it shows t is not the function at the line number 88 and if i go inside this one uh node arrow control f i think just find the line 88 number here it is so i think this update x arrow is not working so just remove this one and i hope it should work so i can drag any table from here and if you see if i expand this table so you see i can expand it as well and there is one invisible point which you cannot see but you can if you try to start dragging one line so you can see you can drag a line and if i try to connect this be between each other so i can connect it and also i can log this one you see like this even if i try to drag this table like uh, it should be draggable okay so you see it's, it's draggable and also the line is expanding so this line is coming through the x arrow because i have designed that way but this table is also collapsible so this is not working the functionality is not working properly but you you see i can connect multiple lines as well this features we're gonna be seeing into our enhancement so the same thing i'm gonna building for another example which i'm gonna be showing you the code like the previously we built it into the last video so in that example we're gonna be implementing this kind of feature again and then we're gonna be doing more enhancement into that one okay so this is the kind of example and i can show you the code like this is the whole code into this node arrow x arrow there is one two folders over here x arrow and x arrow 2 okay in the x arrow node arrow dot js have the all code over here okay so if you guys can understand you can use this code like it's free it's uh, totally free i'm not charging anything there. it's already in the same repository you can just clone it and you start using it so i i wrote this code like long time back around uh you can see three years ago i wrote this code okay in 2021 okay i have also forgot some some of your lines like how does it work so i need to go through with them again but better to dig into this one we can just uh go back and use our like start doing what we were doing for the another one okay so just go over here so we were over here okay and let's stick to this so what we have to do i just need to remove the connections over here i'm going to be creating two points over here plus and plus icon over here and after that i will try to drag and drop from one place 
place to another place and see it's working or not okay so let's let's try it out so let's go over here first we're gonna be using the add icon so we are using the material ui into this one so we can just use add icon over here so if you see the draggable box so we can just cut from here first and then paste it over here okay okay so we have pasted it over here now what we have to do we just need to create another div inside of it div just create another div like this okay it's not taking the extension so i need to oh boy why i'm writing like this okay so like this and then inside this one we need to wrap two add elements like add icons so add and then see if you can get add aisle outline or something okay so mui icon material or i think something it's, it should work okay so font size should be small okay so both and put it like this and inside this one we're gonna pass over here the display flex okay and align item center i think it should work okay so if we go over here again reload this and we just need to remove the connections first we don't need these connections okay so just go over here so you see the connections has been removed and these are the draggable as well okay so the plus icons are coming so now what we need to do whenever i drag from plus icon from here and drop it over here into this plus icon so there should be one connection created okay so let's go over here create one the use tape okay so you state and i can just keep connection okay connections i just do set connections set connection and just make it empty okay and over here just remove this one and just do connections dot map and we don't need this check at anymore okay so we need to do item dot sid to item dot eid okay so if you guys understand eid means end id and sid means source id okay let me make this tid target id and source id okay that would be great so okay this is this is fine so what we need to do now we need to create the connection so first before doing that uh we need to do one thing over here i'm gonna be creating two functions uh one when i start dragging through the node and one i when i stop the node okay when i stop dragging it so on mouse drag okay so i'm just getting the drag i will receive the sid okay and the event okay i will receive the id and event okay and same for on mouse stop okay so id event okay so now what we have to do into this one we need to do on mouse up okay if you don't know about this one so this is the javascript functionality like on mouse up and on mouse down whenever you start dragging it so you just do on mouse down okay so whenever you down your mouse and you start dragging it and when you make it up then you need two functions over here so i will just do on mouse drag and i'll pass this so your events gonna be working on the up, mouse up and down okay so when you are dragging it from one point to any other point like infinite point so you should keep sending those uh boundaries like where your mouse is right now and when you're pointing it up so at which element you just made the mouse up that element id is also we needed so that kind of feature we are building over here and we're going to be doing some kind of ids thing over here so id we already have but we need to justify the id so what we can do we can create the id like this id underscore one so this is always going to be id one for this point there are two points in each and every node so first will be node id so this is the node id and then two points so the first point i'm going to be making it's like point one and the second point is point two so whenever i try to connect from one point so it will take that point id not the node id okay so that's what we're going to do also the same thing we're going to do for on mouse down and we're going to be doing on mouse stop okay over here like this and just copy paste the same thing so we just need to do on mouse down this one okay and just copy and paste the same thing over here as well so it will be good and just make it two okay make it two okay and now what we have to do we need to create one function over here like function add connect connect okay and we need sid into this one and TID into this one okay and now we will do set connection okay and dot 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 connections this is the spread operator guys if you don't know about you can watch my video about that how does it work okay 
So SID equals to, just keep it like this, SID, TID, okay? So it will just put one element of like one start and end point of the node as a checked element over here into this connection. So there would be multiple array of object for the start and end point, okay? So add connect, we, we're going to pass this one inside this draggable box over here. Add connect equals to add connects. And also we need to pass the source ID, source ID. Okay, so we need to create one state also over here to storing the source ID whenever you just start dragging it so that node ID has to be stored somewhere. So we're going to be doing, we're going to be creating that one. Control D, source ID, okay, source ID, as source Okay, so I always use the camel case, so that's why it's kind of I have a habit for doing that. Uh, so source ID equals to just put the source, source, oh, sorry, and set source id equals to set source so sorry, i do do many mistakes okay so source id set source id and and both the things both the things we need to just import like get into this one source id set source id okay so both the things we got it over here now we need to use this function into this function we're going to be passing like first uh, we're going to be doing even dot prevent prevent default like this okay and then we're gonna be doing e dot stop propagation okay so what does the meaning of word using both of this so uh, the using the meaning of word using like first of all whatever like these both the icons exist into this node and this node also fires are even for the draggable okay so what if you want to remove the draggable event default behavior so you have to stop this one so it will remove that event it will only take that event which you are firing from here it will not take another event which is coming for draggable or drop or something like that so we just need to do that and uh, just set source id equals to this id okay that's it you have to do and then add connect okay over here we're going to be doing source id comma id i think it should work okay so let's try it out so we have made the kind of functionality now we are getting some error use state is not defined so we just need to go over here okay guys and just state defined use state okay uh, now let's try it out it's also not so we got this one we got this one so right now it will not start showing you the printing like the when you start dragging it so it will just start creating the line with that but when we try when we start dragging it and drop it over here it will create a line okay so let's suppose okay so right now if i start it so it's not working i think so we did something mistake over here so we need to stop it i think this should work okay okay so this is not working we have we have a problem i think so you see this one but i'm trying to drag it from here so then it's dragging the whole node but we don't want that so i hope there is some problem with my so i think i did the mistake over here like i think this function should this function should be over here and this function should be on mouse up okay so same over here as well so this function should be over here and this one should be this okay now it should work okay so let's try it out again so if i try to drag it you see it's not working and let me put the console over here as well like what is happening so log e dot e dot target okay so when you try dragging it so let's suppose so you see i got the target and now let me try dragging it and dropping it so it should work so you see the line is getting created but it's not getting created at the same point so i try to drag it drop it so at the dropping also we are getting the point let me just check what is the id coming so we need to console the id id over here and also we need to console log source id form id okay so let's try it now we got this element one I drop it so we got element two comma element one both the things we got it but i think it should work i think add connect it goes over here set connection connection dot mad map okay source id id source id id t id item dot sid item dot so had true it should it should work it should work because the connection we are making and in the connection we just need to do sid comma tid okay so 
let's see guys it's working or not again if i try to make connection over here the connection is being created but i hope it's not able to connect oh okay okay so it's it's working fine the problem is that we have not put the id names over here so we need to provide the id to its elements as well so the id is gonna be like this one for this one is id okay same for another one so we need to give the id to this one as well so just make it two and let's do it okay now if i try to drag it over here drop it and drag it drop it drag it drop it drag it and drop it so you see line has been created now you drag these lines from it so you see it's not removing and it has been created so isn't it cool guys like you you got your functionality now we have another challenge which like when we start dragging it we need to show the line like previous example which i was showing you so we need to show the line while dragging it and it should be same kind of line so i'm trying to implement that functionality like i should be showing the same line like this one but if we can achieve some other thing because that is the svg path you need to draw whenever you are expanding your mouse from one place to another place so whatever the client rectangular bound like the client x and client y position you get into the javascript so that kind of things you have to put it into the svg every every time whenever you are updating it so it update like very fast and then it will start showing you on the ui so it's kind of canvas but it's not going to be actually canvas it's going to be raw javascript like vanilla javascript i'm going to be using and on this screen same because this is not the canvas this is just a drag and droppable boundary so into this one we have to draw that line so this is this feature is working now i'm going to push this code you, you guys can use this and before my implementation before the next video is coming if you can implement this functionality that's good you can just comment it out otherwise i'm going to be showing you in the next video how you can drag it and drop it and just stick to this guys subscribe to this channel because in the few days more videos are coming out into this one we're going to be implementing a lot of functionality of the react flow over here and i will show you how you can make it more customizable and also we can create this library and put it somewhere so people can use it for free they don't have to pay so it's a kind of like we are solving the problem but let's see how it goes so thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye